Good morning, guys. Um, it is Wednesday, and it is quarter to nine right now, so we're getting a little bit of a later start today. Uh, we kind of slept in, which is nice. Um, today we are making... Banana pancakes. Banana pancakes for breakfast for Maya. So what do we have to do, Maya? We put first the bananas in, then the egg, and then we mush it up, and then we cook it. Yep. So one banana, one ripe banana, and one egg, right? Yep. Like that. And then Maya's going to work on mashing it up with the fork. Wait, we stir. We stir after the mushing. Yeah. Do you need help mushing it? Um, a little bit. Okay. So yeah. Mix it up. I'm gonna get the pan heated. The trick to this, because a lot of people um, have troubles like making it actually look like a pancake when they flip it, it like falls apart. But I found that the best way to cook it is to use coconut oil, and then I find that like you get the perfect pancake every time. So that's the secret. I'm gonna I put it on like medium heat. Medium. Mmm. At the end it's a mmm. Which is a e M. And what are we missing, Maya? What do we usually like to add? I don't know. There's one ingredient that you like, that you always tell me. Cinnamon! Yeah. Let me put in the cinnamon. I want to put it in too. Yeah. So. This is the real thing. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I don't like a lot of cinnamon. That's a lot. Yeah, and I don't like a lot of cinnamon. I, I just, I just like some. I think it'll be good. Yep, so you just want it to look somewhat like this. There's still little chunks of banana in there, which is okay. Because it's just going to cook. So, of course, because I decided to film making these pancakes today, they didn't turn out as pretty as they usually do. Um, usually I can make them look exactly like mini pancakes. Um, I'm thinking maybe because we added like a little bit too much cinnamon that they're, they look a little bit off. But anyways, um, this is Maya's breakfast this morning. We're just going to top it with some maple syrup. Um, super easy and healthy. I'm about to make my bulletproof coffee now, so I thought I'd show you guys what I actually put in it. So first of all, I use the Bulletproof brand ground coffee beans. Um, you don't have to use this brand, but you just want to make sure that you're using a high quality coffee. Um, anything with low quality actually contains mold in it, and that's what gives you the jitters, which you obviously don't want. Um, and then... I have my Bulletproof XTC oil um, and my organic ghee. Which basically, these two things are uh, starting your day off with high quality fats. Um, so you're getting your energy from good fats rather than like refined sugars or whatever else you're putting in your coffee in the morning. And this is what's going to help keep you full and keep your metabolism going. Um, and then I like to add maple syrup, pure maple syrup, just because I like a sweeter coffee. And also some cinnamon. 
And then I'm not using this right now because it's not recommended for nursing mothers, but as soon as I'm done nursing, I will be adding this into it. Right now I just put it in Derek's Bulletproof Coffee, but collagen, which is has so many benefits for so many different things. Um, but yeah, you're basically gonna put it all into your Nutribullet. You're gonna blend and it's gonna be the creamiest, most delicious coffee ever. I just blended it in my Nutribullet for 30 seconds. Look how creamy and frothy this is. So good. Get on the Bulletproof coffee, guys. I just finished my Bulletproof coffee about 20 minutes ago, and I don't know if it's just because I'm nursing or what, but um, I'm already sweating. Like, it makes me sweat so much. We're gonna go up and around. Um, so yeah, anyways, so I have I still haven't eaten breakfast yet, and we are going for a walk. Maya's on her bike. So um Stella's in the carrier, which is nice I, not only because she's nice and close to me but also it gives me that added weight while i'm walking um so yeah i haven't eaten any breakfast yet so i've only had my bulletproof coffee and water so it's like i'm doing okay come on don't okay stop pedaling now you'll coast just steer yeah there you go um so basically, my body is in a fasted state, and I'm, it's kind of like I'm doing fasted cardio right now. Mommy! Although with Maya riding her bike, I can't really walk that fast. But at least it's something, right? So it's around 11 o'clock now. We just got in from our walk. Maya's having a snack. She's having applesauce right now. And I'm about to have my overnight oats, um, which I will show you guys in a minute. But I just wanted to say that I am sweating. Um, it's super hot outside, but wearing Stella um, acts like one of those, like, you know, those belly wrap things that people wear to make their stomach sweat. Well, that's what... <laughs> wearing your baby will do. My stomach is like soaked, I can feel it. Um, so who needs one of those sweat things when you can just wear your baby? So here are my overnight oats that I made last night. It's really, really easy um, and it's so convenient, um, especially for somebody who hates cooking. So basically, I stopped measuring everything and now I just eyeball it, but the only thing that I do measure are the oats that I use. So I use just over like half a cup of oats and then I add in um, my coconut based yogurt, um, some almond milk, about like a tablespoon of chia seeds. I like to use cinnamon and then I sweeten it using uh, maple syrup. It's around 1230 now and I'm just about to start making dinner. Um, today we're going to have homemade tomato soup and probably just pair that with like a grilled cheese or something. Uh, usually I wouldn't make dinner this early, but because as you guys know on Monday I wasn't able to go to the gym and then I didn't go last night either. So today I want to make sure that I have dinner ready um, and eaten by the time Derek gets home so that literally as soon as he walks in the door I can head out the door and get my workout in at least one time this week. I'm still in the midst of making my tomato soup, but Maya just came in here and said that she's hungry for her lunch now. Um, so for lunches, I like to um, just have whatever's left over from the dinner the night before. So last night we had like a vegetarian shepherd's pie where I used lentils instead of meat. And then instead of regular potatoes, I used sweet potatoes. I added carrots and peppers and corn and 
spices, garlic, whatever else you want to add. Super easy. Um, but Maya hated it. Um, but even though she didn't like it, um, she gets what she gets and she doesn't get upset. That's actually like a little saying that she learned at school that she taught me. So now I always use it with her. Um, and it works. I said that if she eats all of her lunch, she can have a treat. So bribery works too. Veggies for the tomato soup are now roasting in the oven, so I'm going to eat my lunch. Um, here is the vegetarian shepherd's pie. It looks far from appetizing, but it's pretty good. Um, whenever I make shepherd's pie after I'm done cooking everything, I always have the intentions of baking it in the oven, but that never happens because I'm too lazy. So I just cook everything and then mix it all together and serve like that. So it looks like a pile of mush, but it tastes all right. Maya ate almost all of her shepherd's pie. Good girl. So I told her she could have a treat. So I said she could either choose from an ice cream sandwich, a freezy, or ice cream. What do you want? It's quarter after four now. The girls and I just got home from the park. I cut up an apple for Maya and I cut up an apple for myself. I put peanut butter on mine. And I guess Maya wants peanut butter on hers now, right? So I'm going to do that. Um, and then probably at like around 5-ish, I'm going to eat my supper, which will be tomato soup and possibly a grilled cheese. But I don't know if I'll even feel like it because I'm going to be going to the gym shortly after that. So I'm just about to dish up the homemade tomato soup now. And this is what it looks like. Guys, guess where I'm finally going? To the gym! Anyways, I'm gonna end the vlog here. I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed our What We Ate Wednesday video. Um, if you have any questions or feedback, please leave it in the comment section down below. Um, or if you have any video suggestions or anything that you would like to see, also leave that down below. Um, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. That would really help us out and we would really appreciate it. Um, I hope you guys have a good night and we will see you tomorrow. Bye!